running through the back room like I'm easy E. Through the window on the roof, got the whole key. The damn fist I hit the door with a battle round. But I don't give a fuck, I can't lose a single ground. Running through the alley, yelling, breezing, bring your ass. Second floor, I seen the music, tell the break the glass. Everybody wanna be the man, can't take the hit. Don't forget, he lost his mama off up in his bitch. If you're new to the game, you best beware. Because there's more to these streets than simply cold stairs. And we don't care about them black cats and red dogs. We selling black mama, Kobe Bryant ball. But I'ma keep on striving cause the struggle's real You better stay in your lane, don't get your sister killed Keep your mouth wide shut, never spill Straight from the hill, breezy way it is, nigga Me personally, you know, we went through You went through women out there in the street, you know what I'm saying When you out there, you know, doing your thing, you know um, That's a part of the lifestyle <laughs> Me personally, I always, when I was younger, I always had a Effectuation with like older women and stuff, you know what I'm saying? It was something about older women, you know. Um, and the most in depth little fleeing thing I had was with this older chick, man. She was the kingpin's mother, you know what I'm saying? And um, it was it was during the time like I had just hit for those two keys of um, coat, you know, and I was doing my thing out there in the hood or whatnot. Um, you know, um, Kingpin's mom, you know, she had, she was on, like, smoking and stuff. She was on drugs and stuff. And, um, you know, I knew it. You know, she was bad, you know, fine, you know, looked good, you know what I'm saying? She was in her, like, mid-30s, maybe, you know what I'm saying? Close to 40, probably at the most at this time. And I knew that, you know, she, you know, she smoked or whatever. So... You know, one day I seen her, you know, just talking to her, you know, I always had respect for people and stuff, you know, older people or whatnot. And we was just talking, man, and I was like, you know, what, what's going on? You know, you know, I you know, I got whatever. And she was like, Hey, come see me, you know. I'm like, Yeah, I, I want to. <laughs> I know I know my partner Bole will get a get a uh, laugh out of this story. <laughs> but um so I you know I go see her, you know, I go see her. And then, you know, we started, like, messing around and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, this went on for um, a good, you know, minute, you know. And at the same time, it was more like, it wasn't like no relationship type, type thing. It was more business, you know what I'm saying? Um, in the other words, I was tricking off or whatever, <laughs> you know. But like I said, man, um, she was she was bad, you know. Like I said, you know, pretty, fine, older woman, of course. So, you know, it was just, like I said, a business thing where, I know I get some dope, you know what I'm saying? You know, I had the powder, you know, two keys with up. So I know I might just cook up an ounce, you know what I'm saying? Sit in my house, cook up a whole ounce, and then take that ounce with me you know, up to her house. You know what I'm saying? And then just, you know, break off, you know, bam. It go like a $100 slab, you know, type, you know what I'm saying? And, then, and, and you know, you got to think about, like I said, this was um, a kingpin's mother. So, you know, she's very well known besides the pretty looks and, you know, the um, Coke-shaped bottle body. You know what I'm saying? You know, she was somebody. She had a name, period, you know. And uh, and it wasn't just only from him, you know, who she was, you know, throughout the hood or whatever, you know. Everybody respect her, you know. Um, older guys, you know, want to get with her, you know. People like my daddy age. And here I am, you know what I'm saying, laying in the bed, you know. But you know, I used to give you know hundred slab here, hundred slab down, a little piece off the um, off the ounce. You know, she'll go you know sh smoke her thing, whatever you know, get her, you know, it makes her freaky or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just come back in the room, man. You know, we'll do our thing, boom. You know, for that whole night, it ain't like you no, know, not just one time. You know, two, three times. You know what I'm saying? Um, a night. You know, then I go home three, four in the morning. You know what I'm saying? And then it was like a clockwork thing. You know. Um, you know, when I wake up, go out, you know, grind, do whatever I'm doing, and then later on that night, my girl go to sleep or whatever, you know, I go over, you know, sneak up her house, you know what I'm saying? So, it was, like I say, business, but, you know, when you start being intimate with a person, no matter who it is, the more and more and more, then, you know, y'all start liking each other, and, you know, it, it don't all be about the drugs every time, 
You know what I'm saying? Most of the time, you know, but not every time. You know what I'm saying? I could just leave and stop by there. She doing, you know, slap on the air and then, you know what I'm saying, do what you know, do our thing or whatnot, you know. And without getting anything. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say it had turned to a little bit more than that, but for the most part, it was you no know, straight business. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, if as far as him, you know, I I know that he had may have heard the rumors or or whatnot, man, but you know what I'm saying, what 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 could you really basically do about you know your mother, what your mother do, you know what I'm saying? She grown, she your mother, you know, it ain't like you could tell her what to do or what not to do, you know what I'm saying? So it was just what it was, you know, for a good little period. Like I say, maybe a two, three months, um, had done expanded, you know, time had done eleven, you know, we were still doing our thing, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's always going to be something that goes to the left or either to the right. However, you guys <laughs> look at it. You know what I'm saying? But I remember one night I go up there, man, go trick off or whatever you want to say. You no, know, T.I. did say it ain't tricking if you got it. And baby, I had it. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. So. One day I go up there, man. One night I go up there, man. It's like 2 in the morning, one of them late nights, man. 2 in the morning, man. You know, I want to get my rocks off or whatever. So, you know, I grab like a little, you know, like a little quarter ounce or something. You know, I didn't even grab that much out of the house, man. I probably like broke a little seven off and um, went up there, man, you know. And, you know, we start doing our thing, you know, bam. And, and it was probably like the second or third time, you know, that, you know, we finna do our thing. So, at this time, you know, she go into the bathroom and, you know, she smoke, hit her, hit her thing, you know. She ain't never do it in front of me or whatnot. But she'll go in the bathroom, hit her stuff. She'll come out of the bathroom, black ass naked. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little, little dude at the time. You know what I'm saying? Younger. And, you know, that it was, it was uh, a fantasy for me, really. You know what I'm saying? And I remember she came in there, you know, did our thing that last time. Like I said, it like the third time <laughs> that night. Do our thing, man, do our thing. And, of course, you know, when I'm breaking her off, she ain't smoking all at one time. She go in the bathroom, so when we get through having sex, she'll be like, babe, I'll be right back. You know, she'll get her little dope. She'll go in the bathroom or the other room. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody in the house but me and her, you know what I'm saying? And as I'm laying back, you know, on the bed, you know, just, you know, just got off of whatever, laying back, relaxing. I end up putting my hands behind my head like that. You know what I'm saying? And it went up under the pillow. But when it went up under the pillow, I heard, like, some noise. Like, it sounded like paper or either plastic or something. Went, what the hell is that? Get to reaching, and there ain't nothing up under the pillow. Then I noticed that whatever this plastic is... It's inside the pillar, and now I'm squeezing it. It's hard, you know what I'm saying? It's hard. I'm like, what the hell is this? And when I reach my hand inside the pillar case and bring my hand back out, man, it's like three hundred. No, no, it's like three thousand hits of crack cocaine. Listen to the numbers again. It's like three. Thousand ten dollar hits of crack cocaine. Tell me about this. I'm like what the? And then like the bed was so big, the way I was laying on and we doing our thing, I wasn't even up there where the pillars at the whole time. I've been there for two three hours. You know what I'm saying? And this ain't even her room. This is like the spare room. So it had to belong to like the kingpin probably room that he still used when he came over. You know what I'm saying? And after we get through this time, you know, I done scooted all the way back up on the bed where the pillar's at. You know what I'm saying? And when I put my hand behind there, I came out with a man. Big bomb, man. 3,000 hits of cocaine, man. You know what I'm saying? And I, you know, like I said, I had on here from two key, had a key. And at that time, you know, I, my, you know, my, my stand on went down, you know. But 3,000 hits, $10 hits of crack cocaine. Man, when she came back out that bathroom, 
to do some more wind wham and no fuck do all thing. I was like, check this out, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and head out. <laughs> it didn't take a pistol all the time. It didn't take a pistol all the time. Sometimes it just fell in my lap, man. <laughs> but I'm like, hey, hey, check this out, baby, man. I'm gonna go ahead and head out. She was like, what, so soon? You know, cause we usually go through three, six hours. That's how long I'm in that house. You know what I'm saying? She was like, so soon? You know, I thought we were just getting started. I'm like, listen, now, it's good, man. You can have that what I gave you, man. You know, I'm gonna be back up here tomorrow and like that right now. And man, you know what? That was the last time, man, because I ain't never go back. And then, of course, you know what I'm saying? He had came, you know, stopped by the house or whatever. And when he went in that house and he found out that that stash was gone, man, all hell broke out, man. This real talk, man. And that bomb I had felt out, that right there was for like one of the workers. You know what I'm saying? And when he felt that shit was gone, man, man, home went crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, his mom, she didn't know it was in there, of course. You know what I'm saying? She didn't know it was in there, man. And I'm talking about, man, I got them 3,000 dime rocks, man. Boy, and I went down, went and beat that block. <laughs> and it was free. Man, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing two for ten. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just giving it away, really. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, like I always said, that money went there to me, man. I just, you know, give me whatever you want to give me and let me, you know, keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? But, man, when I was knocking the king pen mama down, while I was in the house up under the pillow in the spare bedroom, which belonged to him, I found 3,000 hits of crack cocaine. <laughs> I would go, <laughs> but I would go. To, to, like I said, I went to kind of pull up by, beat the block down. Real talk, man. This real talk, man. Hey, you never know what's gonna happen when it happens, <laughs> and when it do happen, if it's in your favor, boy, you best to run with it. I don't give, well, I don't give a damn high. Right, come on, you best to run with it, man. It's real talk, man. Thank y'all for tuning in to another great episode of Underground Source TV. Right here with your host, TV and film producer, Don Treach Knox, OG Black Bart, man, 3700, man. I'm in the building. Y'all make sure y'all check out American Nightmare, Don Knox, man, right here on YouTube. The documentary biopic about my whole entire life, man. Catch DTP, Phil, Mob, they on now, man. Big shots out to Sean J. Love you, boy. Smoke, what's going on, man? You pulled a call me back, bro. Get at me, man. Real talk, man. Uh, Bangladesh, man. What's going on? Sean Dre, Bangladesh, multi platinum, award winning Grammy producer, man. D.O. DeVille, D.O. Bangladesh, man, is in the building, man. Them, my brothers, right there. Big shot side to my biggest brother of them all, man. Video Wayne, what's going on, bro? Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to Underground Source TV and. Rare Reports, man, it is going down right here. That playlist, my album, right here on YouTube, man. YouTube shop, y'all check them out. I'm up out of this thing. Call it Paul Stay up. Sitting in jail, still in hell, plus ain't got a bill. Mama sitting at home crying, all them pay for tears. Talk to my lawyer today, do I gotta appeal? You wouldn't believe what he said, he said this shit got real. Should've left the street behind, I ain't happy here. Trying to think, was it peer pressure? Maybe it will feel. Gotta pick up my head because I gotta live. Should've went to school instead, got up out the field. Trying to live a life of shine, should've disappeared. Got me questioning my time, maybe 50 years. God, I need a big old blessing, gotta keep it real. So I dropped to my knees and told them everything. I told myself I can't go back, I swear God, I'm a chain. Can't see myself another day up in the resting chain. Better be thankful where you at, cause man, it ain't a game. Try to be gangster if you wanted to never be the same.